Anyone visiting Palazzo Lascaris will be struck by the number of small bronzes on display here. There are more than a hundred such statuettes, most part of an art collection accumulated between the 19th and 20th centuries by Emilio Sperati and donated to the Piedmont region by his daughter Luisa in 1980 on the condition that all the objects be preserved and used to decorate the rooms in Palazzo Lascaris. Emilio Sperati was born in Milan in 1861. He trained at the Accademia di Brera and moved to Turin in 1884. He opened his first business, the artistic foundry for equestrian monuments and colossal statues, the start of a successful, broad, multifaceted activity. Throughout his life, he focused on creating exquisite bronze statues, on painting and collecting works by his artist friends. His statuettes fall within the cultural climate of the Belle Epoque, during which an expanding art market saw the middle classes demanding greater art works. Sperati's statuettes were often scale reproductions of the works by famous artists, serving as preparatory models for casting of the final statue. These pieces were the right size for a city apartment. They were affordable, highly decorative items. The subjects are manifold, animals. mythological characters, full human figures and busts, scenes from everyday life. Among the statuettes we find true masterpieces mixed with more ordinary works, and yet they all reveal the same skill, the same modeling talents, superb technical and professional qualities. Among the many works found at Palazzo Lascaris, mention goes to a splendid Joan of Arc, depicted as she guides the army into battle, a proud, determined look on her face. The bust of the Maid of Gressonet by Eduardo Rubino, with a varying patina that gives the surface variegated colouring, almost as though it were living matter. A poetic victor's statue, depicting Pan and a nymph in sweet embrace, a work by Eduardo Tabacchi, showing clear signs of Art Nouveau inspiration. It once stood atop a large clock, but is now found in a splendid setting, the President's Chamber. The Cossack's Farewell, in which a soldier bids his woman adieu in a passionate embrace. A Madonna in prayer, her intense gaze offering a glimpse of her delicate humanity, full of a mother's love. The Bust of Lucia. The heroine in the betrothed, with pensive expression, she appears about to pronounce her renowned farewell to the mountains. And we end with two statues that are not part of the Sperati collection, but are of great artistic value. A Parisian bronze from the 1800s by the Barbedien foundry set on a truly original base, a carriage hub. And finally, The Seamstress, a 1956 work by Giuseppe Tarantino, donated to the regional council in 2010 by his daughter Laura. This statue symbolizes the fatigues of female labor as the artist depicts his own wife wearily working at the sewing machine. different works that compose a prestigious collection of national artistic value.